Alright, so taking a big risk with this video knowing how much these people love to cancel events and people. So a uh, big risk here of getting canceled before anything even started. I almost feel like I should make a new character to do this or at least like get Cade Sturmeister to do this, but gonna I'm just gonna do it myself. Today I wanna talk about some of the biggest nutcases out there in my opinion. Christians. Now I want to very much preference this by saying majority Christians are fine. However, it gets to a certain point where you believe in it too much to the point where you're crazy. Not because you believe in it, but because the things you say, the things you do, makes you crazy. This is what we call religious psychosis. This is just an objectively like factual thing that people have. This isn't an insult towards Christians, this is just something that a lot of people have where it's a religious psychosis. And today, I want to take a look at that and demonstrate what that looks like. Jesus was at a Walmart, and people still say that it's fake. But the Bible says he inhabits the praises of his people. So this is an actual visual of Jesus himself. If you don't believe me, keep scrolling. But if you see Jesus, subscribe to my channel and share this video with a friend. Just the sheer amount of things wrong with that clip is insane. One, why would Jesus be shopping? Two, why would Jesus be shopping at Walmart? Three, why would Jesus just be openly showing himself in Walmart when we've been waiting for the past over 20,000 years for his, like, what, third coming? And that shit just hasn't happened? Four, how does this 240p ass video of just shoppers at Walmart show Jesus in any fucking way? That's what I mean by you're crazy. You're not crazy for believing in Jesus, but you are literally batshit mentally ill if you genuinely believe Jesus was in a fucking Walmart. Yeah, he's just gonna pull up to Walmart to tell everyone to repent their sins. That's what the fucking second coming is gonna be, is he's just gonna pull up to a fucking Dollar General and be like, Hey everyone, I'm paying for your groceries. I think he's just gonna show up and just be like a Mr. Beast. Like that's his second coming. He's just gonna show up to all the stores, pay everyone's groceries. Hey everyone, I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, Dan, nice to see you. Here's a thousand bucks. Part of me feels like she can't be genuine, but she 1000% is, and that's the concerning thing about it. Jesus Christ bled and died on a cross. Yeah, Jesus Christ bled and died on a cross. Oh God, no, no, no. Hip hop, what, you, like, what does this mean? You hear hip hop and you're like, oh, get time to get to my daily praying session. You're actually the goofiest motherfucker alive, dude. What? You have to be the lamest motherfucker ever to go on TikTok and have to get off because you heard a rap song. That's not, like, not even a middle-aged white soccer mom does that type of shit, dude. You're lamer than a fucking white soccer mom. That's crazy. So Paris said, we love darkness. And God said, say no more. Right after the Paris Olympics Antichrist opening, where our Lord Jesus' Last Supper was mocked, Paris was hit with a massive widespread power outage. But that's not even the craziest part. The church Sacra Coup was the only place not affected by this widespread power outage. As you can see here, this place of worship was fully lit for the entire world to witness and see that Jesus will not be mocked, if you know. I think out of all the times and out of all the things Christians have tried to cancel, this has been like my favorite moment of that because none of it ever made sense from the get-go. They made it about themselves. They tried making it about fucking the final supper. It's the, it's the Feast of Dionys. Very clearly, very obviously, might I add, is the Feast of Dionys. Greek mythology. Because it is the Olympics. A Greek event. And somehow Christians saw a very obviously Greek themed thing and made it about themselves and then tried to cancel it. And I think my favorite part about this whole clip is none of it is true. Not a single thing she said is true. One, they never mocked the Last Supper because again, it's the Feast of Dionys, not the Last Supper. Two, there was never a power outage in Paris. It wasn't a power outage. The town like just like it was like a normal fucking shut off thing. Three, multiple other places had fucking power. You can literally see in the video that she shows that other places have light near the church. It's not just the church that has it. 
the whole thing is just misinformation because they want to believe that their god took course against something that didn't need course taken against and dude these motherfuckers eat this shit up they believe each and every single bit of it because they don't look into it at all to see that no power outages happened the church was not the only place of power and they never even mentioned nor showed the last supper I just don't get how you can try and make something about yourself and then try and cancel that thing because you made it about yourself. I did not see a single Greek motherfucker get mad. Those are the only people that, and first of all, they wouldn't have had any reason to get mad. But if anyone wanted to get mad, it should be any of the Greek motherfuckers who actually believe those gods. Not you, who doesn't believe in Dionysus, who doesn't believe in Greek fucking mythology, you fucking stupid idiots. really gonna sit there and tell me that god was about to take action because people did a feast of dionys at the olympics meanwhile he hasn't taken action on cancer for like a million years now meanwhile he lets children die every day meanwhile palestine's getting bombed like all right good shit god you sure showed them for putting that shit on the olympics how about you pray for your god to cure childhood cancer how about you hope he takes care of that how about you hope he takes care of of all the homelessness on the streets. How about you hope he gives immigrants homes? Why the fuck are you hoping he takes action over a fucking opening ceremony? You're only Christian because you were brought up here. Excuse me? Then you're only Christian because you were here, born here, or in, born or in. How on earth do you know that? How on earth do you know that the only reason I'm a Christian is because I was born in the United States? It is so judgmental and scary. I would never treat you that way. In this clip, this absolute chat of a man tells this fucking Christian what he needs to hear and what a lot of them frankly need to hear. You're only Christian because you were born in America or because you're born in Europe. It's not an attack. It's so stupid to get upset with that. It's an objective fact. Why do you think there are so little Christians in the Middle East? Do you think if you're born in the Middle East, you're gonna likely to be Christian? No, you're more likely to be Muslim. It's just how it fucking works. There's more Muslims in the Middle East than there is Christian. If you're born in a Muslim family, you're more likely to be Muslim than you are Christian. It's an objective fucking fact, and this guy got his panties in such a twist, and I'm so glad the guy talking to him stood on fucking business and said it twice so his dumb ass got it through his skull. It's so funny to me that he's like, so judgmental. I could, I would never be that judgmental. I would never say something like that. As he's doing that to him, as he's literally shouting at him, being disrespectful to him for stating an objective fact. It's so funny to me how easily they can get sand in their fucking vaginas from just stating facts because they just hate facts. That's the whole thing. They grow up their whole lives reading a fairy tale book. And when they're presented with the facts, they get so much sand in their vagina that they can't help but to crash out. Mr. Preacher, I'm gonna hit you with a bit more of some facts that you're probably not gonna like. Killing over 200,000 people because they didn't believe the same religion as you is not non-judgmental. Being homophobic because the book says so is not non-judgmental. Hating on trans people for absolutely no reason just because, again, your book says so. That's not being non-judgmental, buddy. So. I don't know where you're getting this misconstrued idea that you're some all-loving type of guy and the fact that he sat to you is just so unbelievable as if you don't believe in some fucked up shit. Just how that works, you're not some polished, perfect, squeakly clean record. No, no mo like 99% of types of people aren't. And it's so stupid that they believe they are and if anyone tries to tell them otherwise, it's a fucking vagina just full of sand. That's all I have to say though. I think I got my point across pretty clear. I think y'all understand and are on the same page with me now. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.